Hi, I'm Rob from the Auckland University Robotics Association. In this video, we'll discuss speed, torque and current in VEX motors and how you can use this knowledge to make your robots better. In this video, we'll learn how less current is used the faster a motor is going, how power in is different from power out, and why power out is maximum at half of the motor's maximum speed. To understand all this, we need to learn how a VEX motor works. If you move a conductive wire through a magnetic field, you will cause a voltage in the wire. If the wire is part of a circuit, then this voltage will cause electrons to flow through the wire. Electrons moving through a conductor are called electric current. This is the principle behind electric generators. If you run an electric current through a wire in a magnetic field, you will cause a force on the wire. If the wire is able to move, this force will cause it to accelerate. This is the principle behind electric motors. These two principles are related. If you apply a voltage to a freely moving wire in a magnetic field, a current will flow and there will be a force on the wire. The wire will accelerate. As it moves, the magnetic field will create a voltage in the wire. This induced voltage opposes the supplied voltage so it is called a back voltage. The back voltage partially cancels out the supply voltage, which reduces the total voltage through the wire. That means less current through the wire and also less force on the wire. So when the wire is stopped, it will have a maximum current and no back voltage, and it will generate maximum force. As it speeds up, the back voltage will increase and the current and force will decrease. If the wire is moving fast enough, the back voltage will be equal to the supplied voltage, meaning that no current will flow through the motor and the wire will not be under any force. A coil in an electric motor allows a much longer wire to fit into a small space. With the longer wire, you generate more force with the same current and more voltage with the same speed. When we talk about electric motors, we care about torque instead of force and rotational speed instead of linear speed. Other than that, everything works the same as the examples in the previous sections. In this demonstration, we apply a constant voltage of 4 volts to a VEX 393 motor. When the power is turned on, the motor very quickly speeds up to a point where it is generating only enough torque to oppose its internal friction. That means the back voltage in the motor is high and the current is low. In this case, with 4 volts applied, the current is about 0.15 amps. When we apply more torque, the speed decreases. This means the motor generates less back voltage, allowing the coil to carry more current and generating more torque. When we completely stop the motor, the current reaches its maximum for this voltage of about 2.5. For VEX motors, the relationship between speed and torque is linear. A VEX 393 motor with the maximum control value of 127 has a voltage of 7.5 volts. At this voltage, it has a maximum rotational speed of 100 rpm at 0 inch pounds of torque and a maximum torque of 15 inch pounds at 0 rpm. The relationship between speed and current is also linear. The maximum current is 4.8 amps at 0 rpm. The minimum current is 0.37 amps at 100 rpm, where the torque being generated is just enough to overcome the motor's internal friction. The mechanical power output of the motor is equal to the torque multiplied by the rotational speed. That means that the maximum power output is where the speed is half of the maximum and the torque is half of the maximum. At 7.5 volts, that is 7.4 inch-pounds of torque at 50 rpm. This is where VEX motors perform at their best in terms of simple energy output. The power used by an electrical circuit is equal to the current times the voltage. The voltage applied to the motor stays the same so the power used by the motor is proportional to the current. For any power output, 
there are two ways of achieving it. One high torque and low speed, and one high speed and low torque. The high speed, low torque option will always use less current. The point where VEX motors are most efficient at converting electrical power into mechanical power is at around 3 inch pounds of torque at 80 rpm. When you design robots, it's a good idea to try and keep torque loads on your motors in the lower half of their range, where they use less current. If you put a load on your motors that is close to the upper end of their range, they will consume a lot of current while producing only a small amount of mechanical power. This season is the most important to get your lift motors right. It's a good idea to make sure that your lift motors pull a torque of about 7 to 8 inch pounds, which is near half of the maximum. If the peak torque load on your motors is near the maximum of 15 inch pounds, this will both slow the lift and it could trigger a circuit breaker inside the motor. So to recap the whole video, current passed through a wire inside of a magnetic field will produce a force on the wire. Increasing the angular speed of a motor will decrease the current passing through the motor. And maximum power is outputted from a motor at half of the maximum angular speed and half of the maximum torque. Thanks for watching this video guys, we'll see you in Louisville.